Who do you think has a harder puberty, boys or girls? Girls. Girls, definitely. I wanted to test, but really, I mean, especially like yeah. physically, it's so much more intense. Like a girl's physical puberty, it's like a horror movie. Like <laughs> you're like growing hair, you're bleeding, your chest is expanding. It's like you're becoming a werewolf. Like it's really like, <laughs> I'm becoming a woman right now, guys wanna fuck me! It's like so intense. And a boy's physical puberty, it's not a horror movie. It's more like a goofy summer comedy, right? <laughs> For any point, like, the boy could look down and be like, I've got a boner, but I'm in the swimming pool. Whoa! <laughs> this summer, Adam Sandler is a child's penis? <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> Damn you, genie. I just feel like on the, on the mental end, though, of puberty, there's something that's never discussed about boys' puberty. And that's every boy I know, wait, let me take that back. Every guy I know, <laughs> all the boys I know, all the boys I hang out with in our tree fort, um, <laughs> every guy I know, when he was a boy going through puberty, he was shown something by another boy going through puberty that was so fucked up, <laughs> so fucking horrifying, that it's burned into the back of their brain. Every, every guy. When I was like 11 years old, I'm hanging out in my friend's basement and we're watching like a rated R movie and there's a naked woman on screen and we just start freaking out. We're like, whoa, whoa, fucking pause, pause, holy shit, whoa. <laughs> like, it never happened before. And we're just two kids freaking out, having a good time. Whoa, oh shit, whoa, I would love the fucker. Like, <laughs> and then my friend took that moment as a cue, like how Amazon does that whole, well, if you like that, then you'll love this. <laughs> <laughs> and he reached under the sofa and he pulled out a Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy doll. Do you remember these? These were very popular in the 90s. This was a Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy doll that he'd cut a little vagina into. <laughs> that shit pops back into my brain like once a month. <laughs> like once a month I'll be at Vaughn's like buying something and be like, oh, Jesus Christ! Bleh! Cut a vagina into Hulk! Bleh! I don't want these groceries anymore! Like, <laughs> He was a real hulk maniac <laughs> You say you like Hulk, are you fucking an effigy of Hulk? <laughs> as fucked up as that is, I'm just really grateful that like Toy Story rules don't apply. You know, like all the toys were like talking to each other at night. And, like the Hulk Hogan dolls just like <laughs> going up to the other dolls and he's just like, Bruh! Buzz, Woody, brothers, we gotta kill Andy. <laughs> we, I don't wanna explain. Listen, we gotta fucking murder this child. I don't wanna sit down. Listen, just, just lay me on his face at night. I'm a pillow. I'll, the mom will just blame herself. <laughs> You've got a friend in me. <laughs> right? Uh, I love that how Randy Newman sings. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like he's making fun of someone singing? <laughs> like, like if someone was like, you've got a friend in me, he's like, you've got a friend in me. Like, are we fighting? No, I'm not fighting with you. That's how we sing all my songs. Well, I'm, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I think being a guy, it's, you know, it's tough. It's tough being this horny all the time. <laughs> I saw a homeless man masturbating on the bus. Where does he get off? <laughs> it's a perfect joke. <laughs> mm. I think, you know, comedy should just be dumb. I don't think... Uh, I don't think comedy can be brave. Uh, I think that, you know, a lot of comics like to pat themselves on the back and be like, yeah, I'm so brave up here. Just, just freedom of speech, just saying, telling it like it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a firefighter up here, pretty much, you know. <laughs> the words are the buildings and <laughs> I'm protecting them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think, I think honestly, comedy is inherently cowardly. 
for instance, I do comedy because I'm too afraid to get a real job. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you, that's scary. Your, your life, ah, no! <laughs> I think, you know, brave things should just be brave and let, you know, comedy just be dumb. Like I saw something really brave, but I couldn't even process it because I'm too dumb. I was driving to a show and somebody had put over, you know, one of the highway overpasses, someone had gone over the barbed wire to place a sign. They put themselves at risk to put a sign over that just said, N-O-I-C-E. And I was like, noise. <laughs> Fucking noise. That's noise that they put that sign there. <laughs> and I was like, no, no ice. Oh, fuck, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> that guy was brave. I'm stupid. I just let, I don't notice things. I'm very dumb. I, um, I had a rat in my kitchen. I found a rat in my kitchen. And some of my friends tried to make me feel better. They were like, oh, maybe it was a mouse. Like, that was going to make me go, oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know why they said that to me. But I think, I think here's the thing. I, I know it was a rat and not a mouse because when I first saw it, I thought it was a cat. <laughs> I thought a cat had broken into my apartment. I was like, oh, hey, buddy. I called it. I called to a rat. Hey, come here and then oh my god it disappeared into the wall as only rats and ghosts are able to do <laughs> or a ghost rat <laughs> it's kind of my favorite joke honestly <laughs> the ghost rat open your minds guys what unfinished business does a rat have <laughs> on earth <laughs> more cheese all right <laughs> thinker, you know? <laughs> I was just honestly super relieved to find out that I, I just had a rat because I was hitting the sauce pretty hard, you know? <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I thought I was like a spiraling out of control alcoholic because I'd, I'd go do a show, I'd drink, I'd pass out at home and wake up in the morning and see my apartment in like crazy shambles and like just get in the mirror and chastise myself and be like, Hampton, what the fuck, man? What the shit? Let me get this straight. You smoked a joint. You drank half a bottle of vodka. You passed out. You got up in the middle of the night. You chewed through a side of a bag of Doritos. You threw the Doritos all around the room. <laughs> and then it turned out, I just had a rat. I wasn't chewing through my groceries. So I was doing pretty good. <laughs> there were lots of times. Hey, Jay, come on, man! Let me get this straight. You smoke two joints. You drink a bottle of 7-Eleven wine. <laughs> Fuck you. The 7-Eleven makes good wine. <laughs> the 7-Eleven vineyards are all throughout Europe. <laughs> No, read a book. I'm not responsible that you guys are dumb. The <laughs> uh, 7-Eleven vineyards next to the taquito farms. <laughs> <laughs> so you smoke two joints, right? <laughs> you drink a bottle of 7-Eleven wine, you passed out during the movie Alien vs. Predator, and you got up in the middle of the night and you cut up your turds into piles of smaller turds. <laughs> You're cutting up your fucking shit into smaller shit? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? And then it turned out, I just had a vermin situation. <laughs> and a bad drinking problem, but I wasn't chopping up my shits into smaller shits. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Hampton, Hampton, Jesus fucking Christ! This is real depression. This is how I actually yell at myself. Hey, let me, let me get this right. You've spoken enough. You did a bong rip from a skull you found. <laughs> you did a keg stand till you passed out. And you gave birth to six little baby rats? <laughs> You're a fucking mother now? <laughs> 
I don't want to be a mom. <laughs> it's hard to write, you know, jokes when, honestly, some of the funniest stuff I've ever seen, it's not stand-up. One of the funniest things I've ever seen was porn. Uh, I literally stopped jacking off to laugh. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a pretty strong, funny scene. It was pretty simple, honestly. It was, uh, it was like... Uh, Batman, Superman, porn parody. Like, yeah, I, I clicked on this intentionally. I looked this up. I wanted to see what all the ruckus was about. And the plot line's very simple. They're like, yeah, Gotham City's horny. And like, you know, everybody's fucking. So <laughs> I noticed in the scene, uh, it's the Joker. He's having sex with this woman. And I noticed the Joker is wearing a condom. That's it. That fucking, <laughs> that took me right out. I was like, what the fuck? I started laughing. Like, he's the Joker. He's like pure evil or some shit, right? Like, he gives a fuck? <laughs> that to me is so funny. Well, 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 Batman. Well, 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 Games Crusader. It appears as if I've placed Robin on top of Gotham Central Station, which will blow up at midnight. But I don't want to get herpes. It's <laughs> for life. Well, 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 Batman and boy, Blender. It appears as if I've taken Superman and placed him on some kryptonite train tracks, which a train will run over him at midnight, but I don't want to have a baby. <laughs> what if he's just like me? <laughs> Carries on all this Joker bullshit. You guys have been so much fun. Take care. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you.